Ben has been with JLo for a while, but after everything that went on in The Greatest Love Story Never Told, he's probably missing his ex. Here's why Ben Affleck regrets divorcing Jennifer Garner. You really can't... So much of more Jennifers than most have entangled Ben Affleck, and none of their romances have quite resulted in the happily ever after that he was presumably looking for. Fans were left more perplexed than ever by his on again, off again relationship with Jennifer Lopez, which had not one but two chances before imploding once more and ending in divorce. The other Jennifer, the one who still hurts the most, is Jennifer Garner. <laughs> Affleck has stated unequivocally that all of his well-publicized breakups, the one with Garner is the one that haunts him the most. And the vision that was planted. He says that he is only responsible for himself. The first Jennifer, JLo, has an interesting story with Ben. It seemed like a fairy tale, but it really wasn't. The narrative of Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's romance had been told for decades and has included numerous films, hundreds of scandalous tabloid articles, and even two failed engagements. I'm engaged! <laughs> the two movie stars were one of the most attractive pairs to watch in the early 2000s. This is my wife. This is the belligerent nurse that's been being so difficult with me. They eventually gained the moniker Benefer and dazzled their millions of devoted fans with their star power and red carpet appearances. <laughs> but when they finally called it quits in 2004, they shocked fans everywhere by announcing they weren't meant to be. Fans were thrilled when the duo who had split up with their previous spouses got back together almost two decades later. However, despite another engagement, an unexpected wedding in Las Vegas, and a shared residence in Los Angeles, Benefer called it quits once again in 2024, and JLo filed for divorce. It's such a meta story, right? This couple is struggling to make a name for themselves in the world of Hollywood, even though a lot of people are cheering for them to ride off into the sunset together in Los Angeles. Many have hypothesized that Affleck's low-key lifestyle may not have been able to withstand the JLo effect, which refers to her capacity to greatly influence pop culture and only get better with age. So back to Jennifer Garner. Meeting on the set of Pearl Harbor back in 2001, Affleck and Garner got back together for Daredevil two years later. However, they didn't start dating until 2004, and by 2005, they were hitched. Three children, Violet, Serafina, and Samuel, were born into their family throughout the ensuing 10 years. Then, right after hitting their 10th wedding anniversary, they blindsided fans with a joint breakup statement. After much thought and careful consideration, we have made the difficult decision to divorce. We go forward with love and friendship for one another and a commitment to co-parenting our children, whose privacy we ask to be respected during this difficult time. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner have maintained an incredibly cordial relationship throughout their divorce, co-parenting like pros while Affleck went on and finally got married again. But in typical Affleck manner, he knows he's the one who ruined it all, which is why he still regrets how things ended with Garner to this day. Not because he still feels something for her, it rarely works out well when Ben Affleck marries a lady his friends detest. According to sources OK Magazine, his best friend Matt Damon never liked Jennifer Garner, with one insider claiming Damon told Affleck that if his wife just loosened up a bit, things could have been different. Matt believes Ben's marriage was in shambles before the nanny. There was too much anger there. Damon wasn't pushing for Ben to end it, but he knows Ben will be happier with another woman. There are other of Affleck's friends that supposedly didn't get along with Ben's wife in besides Damon. Kevin Smith said to Yahoo Movies in July 2014 that Garner had essentially destroyed his friendship with Affleck. We're not tight. I have not been close with him in decades, he griped. That's old Ben. He's got a wife that don't care for me at all. In addition, Kevin Smith stated that same month at a Silent Bob Speaks tour stop via the New York Daily News, Jennifer does not share the same sense of humor as me. She did not like any of my jokes. I was picking on Ben Affleck making fun of him because I've known him for a really long time, and Jennifer goes, you know, if you keep saying stuff about him, I'm going to kick your bleep. She has a really girly sense of humor and didn't understand that I was kidding. TMZ said that Ben Affleck's gambling habit was a major contributing factor in the breakup. According to TMZ, Affleck was indeed barred from the Hard Rock Casino in Las Vegas in May 2014 for reportedly counting cards when playing blackjack. Don't even realize. Don't even realize. Over the years,
years, he supposedly made a sizable fortune playing blackjack. He even reportedly won $800,000 in a single night. He, uh, he said something that he regrets. He said that this was However, Affleck denied being a compulsive gambler and said he's technically not banned from the casino as a whole, noting to details via people, that's all bull. I wish I could say they were afraid of me in every capacity, but they only said no blackjack. In his speech of congratulations too, following Argo's best picture triumph, Ben Affleck expressed gratitude to his current spouse for working on their marriage for 10 Christmases. I want to thank you for working on our marriage for uh, uh, 10 Christmases? It Whoa, the way that was worded sounds awful, even if it was intended as a compliment. How about, thank you honey for your support, I love you so much, or even I couldn't have done this without you by my side. That would have sounded much better. And then while Ben Affleck was filming The Town, 2009. Okay, just having a bad week. I like to have a good A source informed In Touch Weekly, he hit on Blake Lively, but she was not interested at all. There are rumors that he also gushed about Lively in interviews. Jennifer Garner, who co-starred with Affleck on Gossip Girl, may not have been the only one to be concerned about him. While Affleck was filming Gone Girl in 2014, a source informed the National Enquirer, Jen was so worried about Ben and Emily Ratajkowski that she asked her pal Neil Patrick Harris to keep an eye on them while on set. If Ben Affleck hadn't allowed his drinking to ruin his marriage, he and Jennifer Garner may still be together. In a 2021 interview with Howard Stern, Affleck acknowledged feeling trapped in their relationship, which caused significant anger, but in reality, he was just trying to express how lonely he was. He had a marriage that didn't work. This happens. It was somebody I love and respect, but to whom I shouldn't be married any longer, he said. We had a marriage that didn't work. This happens. It's somebody I love and respect. What I did was I drank a bottle of scotch and fell asleep on the couch, which turned out not to be the solution. Affleck went into further detail in an interview with the New York Times about how much he regrets not doing better in marriage. The biggest regret of my life is this divorce, he said, acknowledging that as his drinking spiraled, so did their relationship. Shame is really toxic. Toxic. There is no positive byproduct of shame. It's just stewing in a toxic, hideous feeling of low self-worth and self-loathing. In addition, Ben acknowledged that splitting up was never in his cards during a conversation with Diane Sawyer. I didn't want to get divorced. I didn't want to be a divorced person. I really didn't want to be a split family with my children, he confessed. And it upset me because it meant I wasn't who I thought I was. Fortunately, the two have reached a stable position where they co-parent their three children while being close friends. Affleck made it pretty clear in the note he wrote for Garner that she will always be someone he holds dear. Thank you. Thank you for being thoughtful, considerate, responsible, and a great mom and person. What do you guys think about his relationship? Let us know in the comments, and we hope you have a great day. Peace.